Welcome back, everybody. It's uh, Sport Federation TV. Um, so if you have been watching the show, you'll, of course, know that uh, in the Western Cape and across South Africa, there are multiple sport codes. And, of course, uh, recently, uh, this past weekend, it was, in fact, the Western Cape uh, Provincial Sport Awards at the uh, Cape Sun in Cape Town, where the athletes from the various districts were given their um, accolades before going to the South African Sports Awards, which comes up this weekend. Joining me on the line now is uh, Corina De Beer, the president of uh, Western Cape Shooting. Corina, welcome back. Hi, JP. Thank you. Nice to be back. Fantastic news for yeah. shooting in the, in the Western Cape. Congratulations. You walked away with two fantastic prizes there, Sportsman of the Year and Junior Sportsman of the Year. Thank you. Yes, it, it takes a lot of dedication and it is really so nice for us being a very small uh, sports code to actually be seen and to actually achieve these things. So we are very proud of the guys. So let's talk a little bit about the guys then. Um, well, we mustn't f forget about the girls because we also know that you yourself were in nominated for Sports Woman of the Year as well as Sports Administrator of the Year. Although I think many people might not know this, but you've actually won some of those awards yourself before. So uh, winning awards is no, uh, it's, it's no new experience for you. Um, so let me f first start with that and say congratulations on those nominations of, for the nominations of, of Sports uh, Woman of the Year and of course Administrator of the Year. We know how hard you work. Thank you very much. Yes, it, it's uh, it's really not for the for the glory. It is it's it's um, having a small sports goat. Like I said, uh, we really need to pull our all our forces together. And um, fortunately, we have a very able and willing group that is is willing to go that extra mile to make the sport happening. Tell me a little bit about Peter Trute, Sportsman of the Year. So Peter um, has, this was his first nomination and um, this was the first, obviously the first time that he won. He's been shooting um, competitively black powder for the last, uh, maybe since about 2011. 2013, he got these Proteo colors for the first time as a team manager. And since for 2014, he's been in the Proteo teams for both uh, short range and long range. Um, every year that we were able to compete in a in a um, world championship, so so he is really extremely talented, um, and and we often wonder how he gets the time and the energy to. We would host an event, and there would be time for like 20 uh, matches during the day. He would literally shoot all 20 of them, which is not not many people can do that. Well, that's that's quite incredible. Um, uh, we're not talking about a casual competition here. This is this is lots of hard work, lots of effort to to and to, to get to that point alone. I mean, we we often think about things just happen on the day and you you get a medal on the day. But the reality is for uh, an athlete like Peter who has walked away as the sportsman of the year for Western Cape, there's gone months and months and years of work into it behind the scenes. Absolutely, and every weekend. On a different shooting range very difficult to do and yeah so obviously i have to tell um uh, peter that we say uh, big congratulations but from here of course he's he would automatically be nominated then for the south african sports awards yes so we're waiting to hear if if that is uh, going to happen um so we we obviously we're rooting for the western cape um for us as as, as shooting to come up against the bigger sports like uh, uh, football and rugby and all those, um, it, it, you know, we, we are realistic about this, uh, but it is really, I mean, we enjoying, we enjoying the, um, the, the, the award or the, the achievements to date. Well, we'll certainly have to uh, also enjoy the limelight and get Peter Tutu himself on the show with us at some other stage. But that wasn't your only award on the weekend. You also walked away with Junior Sportsman of the Year, Marks Mayer. I mean, what an incredible yeah. feat for a one for a single code to walk away with two titles. That's quite incredible, Marks Mayer. Absolutely. So this is the second time that Marks has actually won the Western Cape uh, Junior Sport. Um, so the previous time he won the School Sportsman of the Year, 
but then obviously he matriculated. He is a student at the University of Stellenbosch, and we entered him as the junior sportsman, and he won he won that one again. Also, extremely talented young man, more energy than you know most of us can really absorb. Um, but he is dedicated. He is fun to be around. He has. He has competed in a world championship in Austria the, uh, in 2018, and he won a couple of medals there as well. So he is also, uh, hopefully we will be able to have him in our group for quite some time to come. But let's talk a little bit about some of the events coming up. You've got the national events, um, uh, South African national championships coming up for Blackpool, uh, Black Power at least quite uh, soon. Yes, so on uh, Thursday morning next week, we are leaving here from Cape Town. Uh, we are going to Daniel's Rest game farm in uh, close to Krugersdorp. So we're having our short range black powder championship there. Um, we have the handgun and rifle event on the Saturday and Sunday, and the shotgun event only on the Sunday. So we're really looking forward to that. We've got a very nice group of Western Cape shooters going there, um, and, and we really hope to to do well, um, as we always do with the Gauteng, um, uh, you know, shooting against Gauteng. Uh, there's there's a, a nice influx of entries from Gauteng. So obviously it's not going to, you know, uh, just get there on the day and walk away with the medals. We will definitely have to work for it, but we're looking forward to that. Well, I would hope so. Uh, a lot of good competition makes uh, athletes get stronger and stronger. So that's the long-range uh, black powder, the short-range black powder, as well as the handgun black powder happening then in Krugersdorp. Um, and then you've also got the Bisley Championships coming up shortly in Bloemfontein. That's right. So the, the Western Province Bisley Association is one of our uh, federations, one of our member federations. And uh, the first week in April, we have the SA Open Championships in Bloemfontein at the, um, the, the, uh, um, uh, the military shooting range there. So there are uh, entries from overseas. Um, there are teams that are preparing for the Palmer match in, in a year or two years' time if class also have a world championship coming up. So they are shooting individual. They are shooting provincial uh, and club uh, matches. And then there will be international matches as well. So that is the, the Bisley uh, only shoots 900, uh, 300 to 900 meters. And uh, the, it, it's literally, it's like four matches a day for like seven days. It is quite hectic, uh, but it is really a very prestigious event. And I think the people are very happy that uh, the SA Open is, is being hosted again because with COVID, there were two years where, where it wasn't possible to do that. Karina, I don't know how you keep an eye on all the, how you keep your head above water and keep an eye on, on, um, on all of these sport codes, but I know that you're a black powder world champion shooter, so you've probably got quite a good eye. <laughs> We're also going to a world championship later this year um, in black powder. So in August, the short range team will compete in, um, in, in, in Germany. And then a week apart, a week before the short range, we will have the long range world championship in Hungary. So we are busy preparing for that as well. It's very nice to have you back and uh, see that, that everything is going so well, um, especially black powder shooting, flying the flag. Please pass our congratulations on to Peter Trutter, Sportsman of the Year, and Marks Mayer, Junior Sportsman of the Year. We're so proud of you guys. Thank you very much, JP. There we go, folks. Karina De Beer, uh, President of Western Cape uh, Shooting. And uh, wow, what, a, what an incredible performance with uh, two athletes for um, the sport codes. It's not often that you see one sport code, folks, walk away uh, with the titles of uh, junior sportsman and sportsman of the year. Very seldom that you see one sport code taking the accolades across the, or sweeping the floor, so to speak. Folks, uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, we carry on talking sport in the province. Back in a sec.